am coming at you with a formula for calculating paddock sizes for small scale rotational grazing systems. Now, disclaimer up front, there is really no copy and paste formula for creating paddock sizes because some areas are deserts and some areas receive above average rainfall and the forage quality is extremely dense. But I'm gonna give you the formula that I came up with to implement my personal rotational grazing scheme. And I'm gonna say that three things up front, if you're launching into rotational grazing, there are gonna be three elements that will really allow you to get a good system in place no matter where you're at. And number one is just start somewhere. Put your animals on a piece of land, let them graze. And number two, move frequently, especially as a beginner in rotational grazing, it's gonna help you to get a really good idea of what they're eating, how much they're eating, and if that size that you chose for that one day or those two days was sufficient. And number three is watch, 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 and very closely. Now, if you are rotational grazing, and you move your animals off of a plot that you chose for one day and you notice that they ate way into the ground, you didn't give them enough. And if you notice that they have left a lot behind, you gave them too much. So I wanna mention those three things that are just observational things that you need to go into rotational grazing with. And that'll really allow you to get a good start no matter where you're at. And as you're doing that, just record every day what size did I put them on and how did they respond to that particular size? What quantity of animals did I put on that size? And did they eat it down all the way? Did they eat too much? Did they eat too little? So things like that. Rotational grazing, I've heard it said, is more or just as much an art as it is a science. And as a grazier, you are working with animals and land that are variable and constantly changing. And so you need to use observational skills as much as mathematical calculations. But it's not really that hard. Just watch and start somewhere. So to make this whole process as easy as possible for you, I have created a template which will walk you through step by step by step in the process of creating your personalized formula for paddock sizing on a small scale rotational grazing system. So click on the link down below and I will email that template straight to you free of charge and you can work through it on your own with your own numbers in order to get that very paddock size to start rotational grazing. So I'm gonna start with a definition of two terms or just an outlining of two figures. And number one is the animal unit. When I am plotting out my rotational grazing schemes, I go by animal units, which is 1,000 pounds worth of animal. I don't necessarily go by how many cows or how many sheep are on a plot of land, but rather the total weight of the animal units. So my flock of 25 sheep is about a three animal unit equivalent. So that's figure number one that we're gonna be using a lot is an animal unit being 1,000 pounds. And that allows you to go into multi-species grazing and not have to get confused thinking, oh, I gotta think about cows, goats, sheep. No, you just need to add up the total weight of all the animals and use that animal unit measure rather than the animal specific measure. Number two figure that we're gonna be using is the actual square footage of an acre. And because this is a video catering specifically to small scale rotational grazing, we're actually gonna be using square footage of an acre, which is 43,560 square foot. So the formula goes, carrying capacity of one acre divided by the number of animal units being grazed on that acre. So first step is to take carrying capacity of the land, which you will go to your county's agricultural extension office for if you wish, or you could just start with a number that's very safe like I did, and divide that by number of animal units that you've got grazing on that land. So carrying capacity, divided by number of animal units, animal units defined as 1,000 pounds worth of animal. Once you have that number, which for me is 25 days, take that number 
and divide one acre by it, which is pretty easy. It becomes 1 25th of an acre for one day. From there, use what you know of the square footage of an acre, which is 43,560 feet, and divide it by 25 to get approximately 1,724 square foot for my three animal units for 24 hours worth of grazing. So there you go. Grazing, don't forget it, is as much an art as it is a science, but I hope that this formula gives you a starting point and don't let it replace careful observation of both your animals and your land after each grazing session.